Hello everyone, welcome to this Euro 2024 or Qualifiers prediction video. And today we'll be looking over the games of match day 7. Despite the first bit game being in Group D, I'm going to start off in Group A, Cyprus versus Norway. Of course, Norway have been disappointing so far. They're going to have to win this game if they've got any chance of qualifying. Cyprus have lost all their games, although did score away at Norway. My thinking is that it's going to be 3-1 to Norway. Now, let's look at Spain versus Scotland. Um, Scotland have won every game so far. Spain have won every game except for Scotland away. Well, Spain have actually been very dominant in, in their last two games, scoring 13 in their last two. Though, well, well considering the opposition, we probably won't see anything like that at again. But Spain have been progressing very well all since losing to Scotland and they even won the Nations League as well. The depth's pretty good, uh, Morata's scoring regularly and I think based on the quality of the two teams I don't think this is going to be a one-side game because I think Scotland will do fairly well but I do think it will be a 2-0 win for Spain which mean, means Spain closed the gap to three points and Norway still within a chance of qualifying. Let's go to Group D and obviously we're going to start with the early kickoff. Latvia versus Armenia. For a while I was saying that this game ends in a draw, but I think you've got to give Armenia the benefit of the doubt. And Latvia, they did lose to Wales. Although that means Armenia did only narrowly win in Latvia. So could go back to 1 1 to be fair, but. I think Armenia have enough to get themselves a 2-1 win. Uh, let's go to Croatia versus Turkey. Um, Croatia have um, been scoring more goals, having scored five against Latvia, only won one nil against Armenia. But um, but Croatia so far have um, been playing well in, in the qualifiers. Plus they also um, got to the Nations League final. They're home against Turkey, who they won 2 0 at. Well, Turkey have stepped up since then. I'm thinking this ends in a 3 0 win for Croatia, because I think Croatia are going to have the possession. Turkey defensively not perfect. I'm, I'm thinking the gap in quality is big enough for Croatia to win 3 0. When I had Latvia drawing with Armenia, that win for Croatia qualified them. That, that change in prediction for Armenia has changed things. It's changed the perspective of the group. I still think Turkey's going to qualify. Let's, let's go to Group E. Albania versus the Czech Republic. Very impressive from Albania to get a draw in Czech Republic and then beat Poland, which ultimately ended Fernando Santos's tenure. And then Czech Republic, aside from that result and... The away draw to Moldova. They've been doing well as well. Um, I can't call which way this is going to go. I'm under Brozza's is back for, for Armenia. Um, he scored for Chelsea against Fulham. It's hard for me to call because um, the draw suggests that um, Albania have the upper hand. Czech Republic on paper a better team. Uh, I'm going to say this is going to be another 1-1 one -one draw. Faroe Islands versus Poland. I haven't seen anything on there on Poland's managerial situation since Santos. Um, they're going to win. I'm sure of that. I'm going to say this game will be 3-0. I think Lewandowski and Zielinski. They're enough to be sure that Poland's going to get a result here. And I'll say 3 nils about right. Maybe 2-0. But that's the table as things stands. It's, it's looking very close. And let's go to Group I. First game, Andorra versus Kosovo. Andorra may be due a win here because Kosovo have been bad away. Um, they, they haven't won a game either. I think most people had Kosovo at least within the shout of qualifying. Andorra, to be fair, have got two draws. I don't know what to expect. I'll just go with a 0-0 draw. Belarus versus Romania. Romania currently second. They beat Belarus 2-1 at home. Belarus, they, they've not been playing well. I'm going to say Romania have got enough to get a 2-0 win. And now Israel versus Switzerland. Um, this game 
is set to be postponed by UEFA following the situation in Israel. The closest I'm going to get politically here is I do think this game should still be played, but in another country, so Cyprus, Greece, Georgia, Armenia, if Israel can get over the airspace of the other Arab country. And the the game away at Kosovo is going to be allowed to play, so even if they need a a day, two days extra postponement, I, I still think this game should play. And unless it's in Switzerland, which I highly doubt they're going to do that. My thinking, if this game is to play, it ends in Israel 1, Switzerland 3. Next we go to Estonia versus Azerbaijan. My prediction here is Estonia get a 1-0 victory. Estonia haven't looked good lately, but they did get a draw in Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan have been improving a bit, but I think Estonia uh, will win this. So let's go to Group B next. Netherlands vs France. The Netherlands have been improving. Beat Greece and Republic of Ireland where people were thinking they could possibly be banana skins for the Netherlands. I think they're going to make it a closer game. France themselves haven't been too convincing since that's the first game. Um, My thinking is France get a 2-1 win and that it will be enough to qualify French to the Euros. And now Republic of Ireland versus Greece. I think these two probably about level in terms of quality but you would more likely back Greece if it's been played in their uh, venue but it's in the Republic of Ireland. My thinking is it's a 1-1 draw. Now let's go over to Group J. Liechtenstein versus Bosnia. Bosnia get a 2 0 win. Iceland vs Luxembourg. I'm going for a 1 1 draw. Luxembourg more likely to get a win, but I think Iceland have enough home advantage to for them to have the edge to get a result. Uh, Portugal vs Slovakia. Based on the quality of both teams. I'm going for a 3 0 win for Portugal, so that would qualify Portugal to the Euros. And I think Portugal will be the first team to qualify. They've got a lot of good depth. Slovakia, in comparison to most of these other teams, maybe even all of them, I don't. I think defensively they're better than these other teams, so I think 3 0 is probably about right. Uh, so there's my table. Now let's go on to Group C. For the first of the Saturday games, Ukraine versus North Macedonia. Uh, Ukraine, they did well against England. Um, I didn't watch their game away at Italy. They've, they've made it look fairly close in terms of the scoreline. They won 3 2 at North Macedonia in the last meeting between these two sides. North Macedonia have a new manager um, who got a draw against Italy. Ukraine, I think, do have a better side, and based on um, how things are going, I will say it will be a 2-0 victory. On to the next game, Italy versus Malta. Spalletti, as Italy's new manager, has got a win against Ukraine and a draw at North Macedonia. For me, I'm going to say this game is, ends in a 4-0 win for Italy, because I think being at home and the quality of players they've got I think this should be about right, but then at the same time with Malta, they're not com- a complete walkover, hence why England don't have only beaten them 4-0 in, away in Malta. I'm, I'm thinking 4-0 is probably about right. Let's go to Group H, which there's the Nor- there's Northern Ireland versus San Marino, 3 or 4-0 I'm thinking, and the fact Northern Ireland have been getting better and play well against Kazakhstan from what I'm aware of. I'm going to say it'll be a 4-0 win. Slovenia versus Finland. Slovenia currently top of the table, but Finland won the last game 2-0. Um, I think Slovenia will get revenge here. I'm going for a 2-0 win for them. And I think they've got a better attack, but probably a better squad too. Kazakhstan, Denmark versus Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan were on the home fixture. I can't properly judge this Denmark team. Um, they haven't blown a lot of many teams away, although they did get a critical away win in Finland. 
I'm thinking they get a 2 0 victory. They've got a good enough attack to kill off the game. Kazakhstan's defense won't be easy for them to break down. So that means Slovenia and Denmark are four, both four points clear of the rest of the table. Let's go to let's go to Group G. Um, so Bulgaria versus Lithuania. I'm saying it's going to be two 0 to Bulgaria, and Hungary versus Switzerland. No, Hungary versus Serbia. Sorry. I'm going to say something similar here to the last game. I'm going to say Hungary win 2-1. Um, they're just the better team. Serbia, not good defensively, but they've got a good attack in midfield, which I think could, can score against Hungary. So I'm going to say it'll be 2-1. So there are my predictions for match day 7 of Euro 2024 qualifiers. What do you think? Let me know. And I'm doing this off the back of not seeing many squads. I've only really looked at England and Wales. Maybe one other as well, but haven't looked at very many. But it shouldn't affect my thinking too much. Um, let me know your predictions and I'll see you in the next predictions video.